Hi, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel and we're here for another writing vlog. Um, it is currently February 2nd. I'm going to be starting a new writing vlog right now um, and compile all my other clips for a January writing vlog since I didn't really get back into the habit of doing it every week, but I am trying to do it every week. Um, so hopefully February will be the month where I get back on a weekly type of schedule for you guys. I just put together a video explaining the Wordy Writer Challenge that Katrina and I are hosting over on our Writers Unfiltered um, Discord, Instagram. It's our podcast that we started back in 2020. And we're trying to build the community back up. We are in the talks of bringing the podcast back. But for right now, we are at least doing something with it. And we are going to be doing a month-long writing challenge once a quarter. And so I just did the video for that. And... <laughs> I can tell that it's been a while since I've been in front of a camera because I, it's like I forgot how to do everything. I forgot what I was talking about. I forgot to introduce myself. I had to pause it a couple of times. It's going to be a rough edit. And it was only like a five minute long video. <laughs> oh my gosh. But anyways, so it is currently day two of the Wordy Writer Challenge for February. And... I didn't hit the 1,035 words that I needed to hit yesterday. I only got 602, but that's okay. Um, yesterday was a very busy day, and then last night my husband had lodge, so he wasn't able to help me corral the kids with bedtime and the normal routine and whatnot, so I knew I wasn't going to get a whole lot done last night. So... Today, it is currently 11.20. I still have another hour and a half or so before I have to go pick up my son from school. I'm going to quickly edit that one video so I can upload it. And then I'm hoping to at least get an hour's work of writing before I have to pick him up. So, happy writing! Let's get to it. So, I have no idea when the last clip was that I did. I'm trying really hard to get back into the swing of doing writing vlogs and um, it's, 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 I'm going to get there. I promise. Um, I am currently in the second sprint in this morning's live stream. Um, the good news is I have been able to keep up with that kind of schedule. I've been doing Wednesday mornings and Wednesday evenings, and then I've been doing um, Sunday evenings, except for when we are in the middle of a challenge. So for the month of February, um, as many Sundays as I can, I'm doing the all-day write-a-thon live streams um, instead of doing that just once a month. Um, so for April, for camp, I'll do as many Sundays as I can for all-day write-a-thons as well. And in May, I'll do the same thing because May will be the second Wordy Writer Challenge for 2024. And then in July. And then in August. And then November and December. So those are the months that I will be doing as many all-day writing days for Sundays. <laughs> I said that really, really awkwardly. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and give a quick update on what is going on today. Um, this past week, I've been in the mood for contemporary romance, like writing it. And so even though I've recently made a breakthrough in the world building of my fantasy romance or romanticy, whatever, I, I'm trying to figure out if there is a difference between fantasy romance and romanticy, and I feel like the two terms have, there used to be a difference, but now I feel like they're in the same, I think they're meshed together. Um, but even though I've made a big breakthrough for Project Amethyst, I 
have been drawn to the contemporary romance and I'm not sure if that's just because the deadlines that I gave myself technically the contemporary romance is due earlier than the fantasy romance um and I don't know if that's like what's driving me to write the contemporary romance or what but I went and got my um notebook and since all of my contemporaries i have been able to interconnect which has been really 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 cool um this was originally my project catalina and friends notebook but since i only had two pages no yeah two pages done i decided to just take it and make it the contemporary romance notebook and or at least the first of the contemporary romance notebooks because I know there's gonna be a lot more to do it. Interesting. Um, so I have the different, so here's the first series, and here's the second series and the third series and the fourth series and other possible series that I can connect, but all of these series take place in the same two to four towns. I haven't I, I have two towns for sure, and I haven't decided if I'm going to make another town. Um, but they all take place in essentially the same county, and it's going to take place in the northwest region of Illinois. Um, think like the Galena area, where it's super close to being to Wisconsin, but it's still in like, it, you can, it's still in an area where you'll be able to get really pretty snow for the winter because I do have plans to do some wintry type of stories within the series. And, um, it's still remote enough and far away from the big cities that you can get this small town aesthetic this small town vibe, which is what I'm going for. I am such a small town person. Um, even though I live in a suburb, I live in a very small suburb and, um, the vibes that my town gives off is very Gilmore Girls esque in a way where like the majority of the community kind of knows each other in a sense, like not to that extent, but like whenever I walk into the park district, they know me by name like they don't have to they don't have to look at my driver's license or anything they know who I am when we go to the bank they know who we are like that kind of vibe and like even if it was even smaller to where like we were in Stars Hollow like in Gilmore Girls like I love that kind of vibe and that's the kind of vibe that I'm trying to portray in my stories and I just really really love that and I love how I'm incorporating all four of my series that I have thought of so far and I just realized I've spent seven minutes <laughs> talking to you guys already instead of writing during our sprint um but that's okay um but I have I, I love the plans that I have for this series and I'm not mad that I've been drawn to writing the contemporary romance right now so I am currently working on that and I am 2,000 words into it and we're going to see how much I can write today since today is going to be a writing day. I know it's Valentine's Day, um, but I have my writings, I have my live stream this morning. Um, I'll be on until, let's see, I've got like another two to two and a half hours of my live stream for this morning. I'm going to do a live stream tonight um, after the kids and the husband go to bed. And we're just going to see how much I can write today. So I will give you guys an update later. Something about you isn't right. I swear you can make me lose my mind. Lying here awake at night If this is love then I don't want it Why you gotta be so complicated I'm sick and tired of contemplating I don't wanna be here waiting If this is love then I don't want it 
wordy writer challenge for February has now commenced um, it was I feel like it was a really great success a really great like first run um, I'm super super excited for future months so the next month that we do the wordy writer challenge will be in May I didn't get to vlog a whole lot um, this month just because I am slowly getting back into the whole vlogging getting myself back into a vlogging habit and um, 
I mean, so far I've kept up with being able to do it on a month by month basis. Um, I'm slowly getting back to being able to do it on a weekly basis. I will get there, I promise. Um, but I did end up changing my word count goal probably with one week probably with one week left of February. I changed it from 30,000 to 25,000 and then I changed it from 25,000 to 20,000 when there was two days left and I almost hit 20k. Um, the very last day all I had to do was write like 1200 words and I got so busy and I wasn't able to hit it. So I wrote 18,908 words for the month of February for the very first round of the Wordy Writer Challenge. And I'm calling it a win because I was more consistent with writing while doing this challenge. And that was like the main thing that I wanted to do. And so even though I wasn't able to hit the 30,000 words, or even the 20,000 words that I changed it to, I felt like I still won in a sense because the whole reasoning as to why me and Katrina wanted to do this was because we needed to be more consistent. We needed to push ourselves to be consistent with our writing, to build up the writing habit again. And I feel like we were able to do that. Um, and so I find that the Wordy Writer Challenge was a success. And I'm really, really excited for the next round, which will be in May. And then after that, it'll be August and then December. Um, we didn't want to take away from people who wanted to do Nano, so we didn't want to do November. But then October, we felt was like too close from the last one. So we're just doing December. And for December, we'll probably do like a 20,000 word count goal instead of 30, just because December can get really, really busy for everyone because of the holidays. But I'm really, really happy with how the Wordy Writer Challenge ended, and I'm excited to do more. Um, so I think February was, was a success. And then at the end of February, early into March, I started getting this like really weird, not really weird, but this, um, this, this nugget of a shiny new idea. And so now I'm working on, um, another project that you guys get to help. Um, and I just wanted to give like a quick shout out because I do have a survey available for you guys to, um, to fill out if you want to join in on this choose your own adventure brainstorming experiment where we get to plot a book together like you get a say in what happens in the story or like what the characters are going to be like what their names are um you get to help out so i do have a survey linked in the bottom um i will also link the introduction to that video if you want to go ahead and uh, watch that. And I'm going to be doing like specific vloggy things with that experiment as well. And I'm super, super excited. So there's a lot of fun stuff in store for the upcoming months. And I'm just excited that you guys get to be a part of it. So with that, I'm going to get back to writing. <laughs> but um, this was, this was a great, great first round of the wordy writer challenge and thank you so much if you guys participated in it i hope you guys had a blast um if you did participate let me know how you did down below and yeah if you did like this video please give it a big th thumbs up it does help support my channel and let other people see my videos and lets me know that you like this kind of content and if you aren't a subscriber and you would like to be please go ahead and smash that red subscribe button but until next time happy writing Side by side we sway there in all the colors